Okay guys, so I got a bunch of shit for the Honda XL80S uh, Viking racing mower. Uh, I'll show you what I ordered online, just a few parts. It wasn't running, so I figured I'd do a complete overhaul on it. Uh, it's not here yet, but uh, as soon as it gets here, we're going to have some updates on it. So I ordered a bunch of stuff online, and uh, we're going to see what I got here. And then I also got uh, a couple of parts more and a parts quad for the new uh, Craftsman build, but uh, Torque will be coming back, that'll be shortly, but uh, I'm going to have to get all that shit shipped out here, so I'll show you what I got for the Viking, and I uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. So as you can see here, first of all we have a uh, fake GoPro, it's uh, Action Pro I believe, ordered this online. It takes a micro SD card. I got a bunch of attachments with it. Um, I took it out on the bike. It seems to work pretty good. Uh, the sound is pretty crappy quality, but the video is 1080p. So that's pretty sweet. It's also Wi Fi. But uh, that'll be nice for mower action. And then over here, we've got some parts. I'm going to wrap everything without the dog harassing me. I will pull her. Watch them most dirt bikes to work on the 80. As you can see that'll thread into your flywheel with reverse thread and then you torque on that and it pulls your flywheel off. So I wasn't able to get it off last time. I remember that. And here we have a brand new coil. Comes with the boot. Single wire. I bolt onto my frame for ground. That should help it. The boot is falling off the other one, so and it had shitty spark. Point some condenser for the XL80. Sweet. And then the big item here. The carburetor. Now this is off of 110. Or whatever the Honda was, 125 maybe. But this would be awesome. It's got a little choke. That's for my uh, throttle cable. But yeah, that should be awesome. That'll help it run a lot better. I also have here a complete gasket set. It'll come with all my head gaskets, exhaust, manifold gaskets. Looks like a couple little rings. And then the valve cover gasket, and a couple stickers, and a couple other different gaskets. So that'll be sweet, that'll help it out a lot, and I'll get a little more power out of it. I haven't seen that thing in a year and a half now, so it'll be nice to get that thing back and get her up and running real nice. And uh, <clears throat> see what she can actually do and take some real videos of it. Well, it's pretty windy right now, so I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, I'll show you what we got here. This is a uh, Yamaha 250. I was more interested in the front suspension and the front brakes. Now these are hydraulic brakes, which is awesome. This is all the hydraulics and uh, all the steering, greaseable A-arms, so that'll be awesome for the build. And we got direct steer. It should be interesting to install because the motor kind of sits right here. So I got a couple of U-joints and stuff. So I'm going to try to run my steering back. Hopefully that will work out pretty well. Uh, there's not much else I'm probably going to use on the quad. And also going to scrap. But as you can see, there's also a Ford. I believe it's an L TV 10 or something like that. But uh, you can see it has no motor, but it has the 5-speed. Um, it has the transmission still in it. Just a peerless. I don't know what size that is, but uh, if any of you want to look up that number for me and tell me if these trannies are any good. Well, it looks like it's a well-filled one. It looks pretty solid. 
So that'll be sweet. Spare tranny. Um, I don't know. Steering's not really worth anything to me. But it's got some pulleys and shit set up. Which I could probably use. And just a bunch of good metal. But yeah, that's what we have for parts and shit. So we should be able to build quite a pretty cool tractor. So I hope you guys enjoy what you see and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, you can let me know about that transmission if you know anything about those. Or if you've had any experience with them, let me know. And uh, yeah, hopefully this weekend we'll be building up the tractor and the video up soon. And hopefully a first test drive. And uh, hopefully we get that Viking race mower out here so we can work on that and uh, get some more videos up for you guys. But uh, be sure to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe and uh, let your friends know that R365 is back with new projects and back in the mowers and trucks and dirt bikes and everything. So let me know what you guys think and uh, have a great day.